Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress based out of California and today we are going to look at the media bin on casting networks. So I'm going to show you how to upload a photo, a video, and uh, an audio file. So of course you have to have a Casting Networks membership and something that I just learned um, with their new website, they do have limits to each type of media. So for your video, it is 600 megabytes limit. Uh, the photos are 30 megabytes and the audio files are 50 megabytes. So depending on what you use to edit or upload or if it's straight out of your phone, it's going to be different sizes. So I suggest looking into that so that you are prepared whenever you do need to upload a new uh, piece of media onto here, new video, whatever, or a self tape, all of that, um, depending on your phone, on your computer, and you should be able to see the size of it in the settings, or when you click the three little dots and put details or more, something like that, it's all different. Look into that and get familiar with, with, with what you need to do with whatever you have. If you have a premium membership, you'll be able to upload whatever you want, however many videos, photos, and audio files as you would like. But if you have a basic membership, meaning the one that you don't pay any money for, you will have to pay $19.99 for each upload, $19.99 for each audio file, for each photo, for each video. Do it wisely. And if you had a membership before, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I was looking into it and if you had a membership, premium membership, and you wanted to look at your photos, well, your photos and videos or all of your media is going to be locked and you're going to have to pay to unlock those. So with the free membership, you get two free photos and a free video. But if you cancel your premium membership and you see everything is locked, you will have to pay for it in order to unlock it. So that's the, the money side. That's the, you know, technical of how big it needs to be and how much it's going to be in order to do that, um, in order to do that. And if you do have, um, are curious about a premium membership, it's about um, $250 per year. And I am still trying to figure out if you need to pay for different memberships in order to have a membership that um, is attached to your agent and a membership that's not attached to your agent if you um, don't have an agent. Because right now I have one attached to Marla Dell Talent and I can't self-submit there because it's attached to them. So I had to make a personal account, but then for my personal account, they were like, you need a membership. So, <laughs> I guess I still have to pay over $500 a year um, to keep casting networks. Not really worth it unless you know you're going to be booking a significant amount of jobs. You're going to be booking a lot of commercials. If I ever, I was going to say once I stop doing commercials, but if I ever stop doing commercials, then I will definitely cancel casting networks because as far as I have been able to see in San Francisco and LA, it's mostly commercial casting and um, a little bit of background and student films. So let's go onto the website. I'm going to click login here on Casting Networks and then put in my information. I've already updated my profile, so I am logging in with, um, I'm logging in with my email. Let's go through these one at a time. So first let's go through photos, then videos, and then the audio files. And I am going to show you guys examples of uploading photos because I do have some that I want to upload onto here. So now I just logged on. This is the main page that I see. I still need to put my about, but um, you have something called a media bank. So you can go to your media bank and from there it's very easy. Just click upload photos and then you can either click browse and it'll of course open, you know, files or uh, a folder that you can grab files from, or you can do what I just did and just grab them from your desktop. So I'm just going to drag and drop onto here. Um, you can see this one is only 2.02 .02 megabytes. After it's done un uploading, it's going to ask you to crop it if you want to crop it. And I think I'm just going to crop mine a tiny bit here like that. And that's that's how easy it is to upload a photo. So this is the one I just uploaded because right now I am on my account that's attached to Marla Dell Talent. So Here's the one that's not attached to Marla Dell Talent. I just made it, so I have uh, just a few photos, but 
This one is the one that's attached to my agents. And um, when I try to delete it, I can't some of the photos because those are the photos that my agents uploaded. So this media cannot be deleted. Media uploaded by repre your representation can't be deleted from the media bank. However, you can hide this media from your profile. So you can see these ones I have hidden, like I don't look like that anymore, so I hid them. Um, and I just am uploading new photos with their approval, with my agent's approval, but uh, you can delete photos that you uploaded. So if I click here, I could delete this photo that I just uploaded. Um, and then if we go back to your profile, another way that you can play around with your photos, if you wanna rearrange them or add a photo, same thing, you can upload a new photo or select from your media bank because even when you hide photos, they still stay in your media bank. If you want to delete them, then that's when you know they would be gone. But um, you can rearrange them clicking here. So you do have to go to your profile. And then this is a little, instead of you know just being able to move them around by clicking and dragging them, um, you just click the arrow and as you can see, you know, and they just move one at a time, or you can take it all the way to the top by clicking um, the first button or all the way to the bottom by clicking the bottom button. And the one that you do select as being the first one that's going to be the primary, fo primary photo that shows on your profile. So right now I'm in my profile and it's this photo right here. Um, let's go back to Media Bank and let's just delete a photo. So if you delete this photo, it will no longer appear in your media bank or in any profile. Are you sure you want to delete this photo? Please note a free photo credit will not be restored or credited to your account if this photo was uploaded as one of your free photos or paid for individually. So if you have the basic membership, don't delete your photos unless you never want them to be there and you want to waste your, mo your money because you can just hide them. Um, or you know if you paid if you paid for that additional photo. So that's pretty much it for the photos. One more thing about photos actually is that you can customize them uh, when you are submitting to a specific role. So let's go to my other profile, my personal profile that I can self submit through. I'm gonna go to casting billboards and just select a um, a submission here and then you can see you can customize your submission and number two is review your media um, your profile media and you can select something else so if I know it's something sporty I'm going to go ahead and do this like a sporty commercial and then I'll set that one as a primary so that is the one that they see and now we're at the media bank again so I'm going to click videos this time so we can do videos I already have a few clips here I'm going to do the same thing upload video and I have another file on my desktop okay for some reason it wasn't letting me drag and drop for this which is a little weird but i was able to just um you know search it on my desktop and then click it and open it up here so it's going to take a few minutes this one is 303 megabytes okay it finished so that took maybe 10 minutes um now it's right here same thing, you can edit it, hide show on profile, edit video, um, delete video. And so if you do want to edit it, you can edit the name here. Um, land, oh darn, doesn't show it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put land of opportunity because that's the name of the file. And then no, it's mine because they're on my profile. So I'm just gonna do that. And then um, we can go back to my profile again so you can see that the video is now here. It's right here. Um, and you can rearrange the photos, add photos just like, it, um, sorry, add the videos just like in the photos. And then let's try a submission again so that you can see that you can um, add a, video and then you can just scroll down just like the photos and um, you can include this or not on your submission depending on if they did ask you for a clip and then the last thing for uh, videos that I want to show you guys is that you can add a video reel here on your profile um, so you can just select it from your media bank or you can upload it and then select it here so I'm going to go ahead and put um, this one right here And then other than having that video right there, you can also add a highlighted credit. And then when you have your credit, you can add a clip from that film. So I'm going to quickly add a short film that I just did. So 
So I'm gonna save this credit. I put all the info there, I'm done. So I already actually had some other ones, including that one on my profile, but I just wanted to show you that as an example but um, you can add a clip here. So you can also select it from your, your media bank or add it, um, add a new video, and then you need to click on the star and then make it yellow, press done, and then it's going to now appear on your profile. So you can see the highlighted credit here is the lease. So the last thing we're going to see is going to be the audio clips, which are pretty much like everything else we were just doing. So let's go, um, Let's go back to our media bank and then audio. Again, I already have a, a thing here, but you would just click upload audio. You can drag and drop or browse your computer. And then same thing when you go to casting billboards, you just keep scrolling. But that's pretty much it for this. Of course, I'm not an expert with casting networks. This new um, website just came out a few days ago and I'm also still exploring it. But I wanted to do this with you guys because a lot of this is pretty basic, but I know some people have never done this before, so it might be a little confusing. Um, if anything is missing on your profile, if it's still glitching, if any of the buttons are missing, I would say be patient, try and log in again tomorrow, or contact Casting Networks to see if they can help you fix the issue. Uh, if you are brand new to Casting Networks or are thinking about getting a Casting Networks account, I highly suggest doing a lot of research before you pay for your account, before you pay to upload all of this stuff, because most of these are uh, hiring locally. So if it's, you know, if you're uh, submitting to something in LA, it's most likely gonna be a commercial in LA. If you're submitting to something in San Francisco, it's most likely going to be filming in San Francisco in a few days and they are doing local hires. So make sure that you can actually work in those locations before submitting and if you are wondering hmm which photo should i choose which video should i should i choose select the ones that represent you the best the ones that actually look like you right now and also the ones that are appropriate for that commercial like earlier i was telling you guys about if this is a you know some kind of athletic commercial then i'm going to be submitting that athletic photo uh, but that's just my opinion my experiences as an actress um i Definitely, I definitely suggest for you guys to keep researching through other people, especially if there's, um, because there's a lot of casting director interviews online, but um, that's it for me for today. Let me know if you have any other questions about casting networks, anything else you want me to look into. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.